welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I didn't record last week because my boyfriend was home, so I was spending as much time as I could with him, so <clears throat> I miss filming, but I'm back now. I have redone kind of my makeup room. I bought this stand from Ikea, got some lights in here and stuff like that, so maybe it'll be a little bit better to see. Um... <clears throat> So I'm just going to do a Valentine's look, I'm thinking, because, I mean, it's almost Valentine's Day. And if you're like me, I'm just going to go hang out with my friend on Valentine's Day because my boyfriend's going to be at work. So, it happens, though. But I just wanted to talk about the um, skincare I actually just got from Sephora called Drunk Elephant. Um, so far, I really like it, but I mean, we'll have to see how it goes. I got this day serum, the night serum, and the um, uh, the face oil. So, we'll see how these goes. I usually do the day serum, obviously, in the day when I have a shower and wash my face and stuff. And then the night serum before I go to bed, and then after that, I apply the face oil on top. You can mix them and stuff like that. And the oil isn't really super greasy. It's kind of nice. It's feel It feels hydrating. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this uh, Drunk Elephant. So um, they have more to their line. But I mean, it's super expensive. So that's why I'm just kind of starting out with these three. Because uh, I was running out of my other serum. And hopefully that... I've only been trying it for like two days. I think I just got it. Uh, two days ago, so yeah, I've been trying those, but yeah, look them up, they're on Sephora, and uh, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna start with the Valentine's Day look. I've done my eyebrows like usual, and I primed my eyes with MAC Paint Bot in Painterly, of course. So, what I'm gonna start off with is the color Unexpected by Makeup Geek, which is like a I guess it's like a dull purple. So we're going to take that on a Morphe blending brush. Tap that off and just just put that in the crease. It's going to be our transition color. I've never really used this color before, to be honest. But I was like, I really want to do like a, a purple makeup look for uh, Valentine's Day. Because uh, my favorite color is purple. And um, when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of purple <laughs> and pinks uh, not really reds so that's why I want to go in with purples back and forth back and forth and then this is the Morphe S palette I've had this palette for a while but I've never actually really used it it's like a really colorful palette and I was like dang this would be really good for today because I really like these purple colors there's some pinks and it just looks super fun so we're gonna we're gonna work with that today I think we're gonna go in with this top purple shade here and we're just gonna put that on the same blending brush I don't know if these are pigmented probably because Morphe brushes are so we're just gonna do a light hand oh, that's really pretty it's like a lilac color so we're just going to try that, putting it right here, not going all the way to the end, stopping about here. I think we're going to go in with this, this purple shade here, sorry, this one right here. And we're just going to keep building that up in the crease. So this one's a different color of purple, but... I just feel like trying them all out, so I'm just going to put them all in my crease. Wow. I'm always scared to, like, try purple, even though, like, my eyes are green and I think it will look awesome. But, like, you can look like a clown, like, really fast. So that's why I'm kind of, kind of scared. This purple, well, where is it? This purple next, just under this one here. And we are going take a Morphe M505 so I don't want it like directly in the crease but I do want it in the crease but I just want it subtly in the crease I've never really done a purple smoky eye before so this is really good 
um, for Valentine's Day for me to get out of my comfort zone as well. Keep putting that color in the crease, building it up a bit, like so. Now we're going to go in with this darker purple right here. And we're going to take that on this brush by Morphe. It's really dirty. And we're just going to put that directly in the crease to deepen things up. I look like an ice cream. And then kind of put it in the, in the outer V as well. But remember, soft, 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 softly. So we're kind of, we're getting there. We're getting there. So now we're going to go in with the first brush and kind of blend it all out. Just softly. Make sure there's no harsh edges. For the lid color, this is kind of like a duochrome -y. It kind of looks purple, but it kind of looks gray. And I think we're going to go in with this color. I think it looks really pretty. That on my flat shader brush, kind of tap some off. And then we're just going to apply it to here. See what that looks like. So I think we should add some Fix Plus. It ain't bad, it ain't bad, but I mean, maybe we just have to build it up. <laughs> I was thinking of doing a uh, St. Patrick's Day look, which is uh, coincidentally on my birthday. So yeah, I was thinking of doing that. If you guys want to let me know, so just going to pack this on. take that brush again and kind of just blend out the edges so everything is kind of seamless blending everything in so this is kind of how it's looking right now I feel like we need to add something else to the lid like I feel like it's just like eh. okay so this is um, makeup geek daydreamer it's like it's a foiled eyeshadow. It's purple. This one here. This one is whimsical. I think it's a it's a pink color. For makeup geek, it's a foiled eyeshadow. And we'll we'll stick with that. Okay, so we'll go over with this color again, blending everything. And then we're gonna take the wipe and we're gonna clean up. I like it because it's different. It's purple. It's purple! I can't wait to do more with these colors. Like, there's greens in here, teals, grays even, blues. Look at this blue. Ooh. Like, gorgeous colors in here. We can come up with something for sure. For sure. For another time. Okay, so here's what the eyes look like. I like it. I don't really, I don't do purple eyes, so this is cool. This is cool. So we're going to go in with the Giorgio Mani Luminous Silk Foundation in 2. This will be good for your luminous skin on Valentine's Day. Take our beauty blender and just spritz it with some BX Plus. And we're going to put that on the skin. And we're just going to add some more coverage because we still want to be like full coverage. And then I want to talk about a new concealer I just got. Shout out to my boyfriend for purchasing it for me. <laughs> me and my boyfriend actually have a bet going on that if I don't spend any money on makeup that um, he owes me. <laughs> so... Um, we have the bet is until March, but he did get me a Sephora gift card for Valentine's Day. The nice guy. He's 
proud of me because I've been doing so good at not buying shit. So I still get to have some fun. <laughs> but so that's why I've been really into skincare is because I can't buy makeup, but I can buy skincare. So that's kind of my thing now. And I'm just trying to look after my skin because I know, like, it's super important too, right? Um, so anyways, the foundation is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. So it's just like this. It's in a little pot. I'm in the shade Vanilla. And I just take it and I just kind of stamp it on my acne like this. Uh, there's some right there. I've been breaking up between my eyebrows really bad. I looked it up and they're like, it's because you've been eating candy. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Just gonna put some right here, even though I'm gonna go over it with some other concealer. But anyways, I just stamp it on, and I really like this. It like, I when I if I want to do no makeup makeup days, I put this on like my acne, and it looks so natural. I like it a lot. The um, born this way concealer in very fair, and just put that under the eyes. We're going to take some translucent powder, dip that in there, and bake that under eye. And just break, break your nose because, like I said, oily AF. We're going to go in with a different powder to set the face. We're going in with the Better Skin. <laughs> so it looks like this. I'm in the shade... 20, which is classic ivory, taking my brush here and just going like this. I think it really smooths the skin like that. Well, this powder is really awesome too, but it like blurs the skin. Like it looks freaking amazing. Um, and then wipe away that powder on the nose and then wipe away the under eyes. Damn, I'm really like digging this purple eye like so much. I'm like really, really digging it. Digging it. No diggity. Alrighty. Now we're going on to contour. You know, shade of light palette. Going in with the middle shade. Damn! Snatched AF. Oh, and then we're gonna do the forehead and the jaw. We're gonna do the jaw here so we don't look like we have a five chins. Really wanna use this. Too Faced uh, bronzer in Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer, the Sweetheart Bronzer in Sweet Tea because it's shaped like hearts and it's Valentine's Day. So, I mean, just put the two and two together and we're just using this Morphe Fan Brush. Gonna do a little bit on the forehead. Because it is, it has a shimmer to it, so I don't want to go everywhere. So we're going to do right here and right here. And we're just going to, of course, take a little bit of that and just run it down the neck. I really like this bronzer, though. It's really nice and, like, it has a shimmer to it, so it's, like, really glowy. And it's, like, perfect if you want to glow. It's super pretty if you want to be, like, luminous and stuff. You know. And then for blush, we're going to take a blush brush, of course. This is the one in Gulu by the NARS. By, by the NARS. We'll try this one out. So we're going to clean up our contour a bit and our blush because it's like everywhere. And then we're just going to sweep it away. 
natural, I guess. <laughs> natural, my ass. So cute. And then we're going to take our highlighting brush. And I discovered some colors that I'd like to share. So we're going to go in with Mag Shroom and Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer and mix them together. And just put that on the cheek there. And these are eyeshadows, by the way. Sorry if I didn't say that. And I really like how it looks because my skin is pretty fair. So you, it's hard to find a highlighter that's like pretty white. Shows up on my skin. That's like blinding. Take some on the nose. And on the lip here. And then on the chin. I'm gonna do the bottom lash line. So we're gonna take the Sigma E45 uh, small taper blending brush and we're gonna tip into these two transition colors that we started with. Just mix them together and then just blend it under the eye a bit. Not going super far because it look can look like we have a just a black eye a flat brush like so and you want to dip into those two dark purple colors that we used in the crease and just kind of stamp them right here like tight on the lash line and just smudge them a bit I love purples, so this has actually been a really fun look for me to do because, you know, like to get out of your comfort zone. By the way, this vase here, my mother got it for me for Christmas and I really, really like it. If you're watching, Mom, thank you. We need to do the inner corner highlights. We're going to take this uh, Sigma E30 pencil brush. We're gonna dip into our highlighting colors, which is the Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer and Nylon from Mac. We're just gonna put that in the inner, in the inner corner. Blind you motherfuckers for Valentine's Day, so you can trick you and take, and you can buy us a portion stuff. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, we're we're blinding you with our highlight and our inner corner highlight, so you can buy us a Porsche. Yeah, I'm waiting. If you're watching this, Ken, I'm waiting. See this? I'm waiting. Anyways, back to blinding you. And if you want to kick it up a notch, just put that on your brush. Spray it with Fix Plus. And then put it on there. How's that? That is just like, yes, so pretty, so pretty, and some mascara. I'm going in with the roller lash from um, Benefit, one of my favorite eyelash um, mascaras. Duh. Remember when they came out with um they're real by benefit and everyone was like shook about that this one's like more shook than that this one's like amazing you could just leave it at this on its own like with just mascara but you know we we go all out it's valentine's day guys like you want to blind that guy and you want to make him buy you a porsche and you want to flutter those lashes so he'll buy you that Porsche. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, okay. That's what I mean. I've picked my eyelashes that I want to do. These are the Starlust by um, House of Lashes. I feel like these would be pretty nice. These ones have a really thick band. 
I guess that's the only thing I really hate about House of Lashes. Make sure to cut any areas off. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Look at these. Like little, little butterflies on the eye. Let it dry for a tidbit and then pop these suckers on. And I'll sh I always show pictures of the end of my videos because sometimes it's hard to see what it actually looks like at the end. Purple is the new nurple. <laughs> We're gonna do the bottom lashes. So this is kind of what we're working with right now. This is the eyes. I think it's really pretty. I really, really like the purple. I think it looks super good. Okay, so for our lipstick, we're going to go in with MAC Faux, which is a really nice, pretty, mauve color. So we're going to go in with Boldly Bare by MAC Lip Liner. Fill that in. And then we're going to go over that with either uh, NYX Butter Gloss in Meringue, which is more of a purpley, hot pink color, which would probably match with the eyes pretty nice. Or go in with a vanilla cream pie, which is just a pinky color. I think I'm going to go in with this one because it looks really nice. I'm going to compliment the eyes. Uh-huh. 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 Yes. I love... Mm, I love that. It looks super good. Alrighty, guys. So that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed this Valentine's Day look. Definitely brought me out of my comfort zone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys subscribe. Have a good Valentine's Day. Love you guys. Bye-bye.